श्री लंका वे प्रथम वतावट न्यू रूप राजनी उलेलाख duplicates before our eyes as we look around all of which a story rings like a siren a siren of twins but this rings this rings this rings this rings worldwide 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 ladies and gentlemen a very warm welcome to the inaugural press conference of miss and mr twin sri lanka 2023 gathering all the twins of the world including the twins of the iran and other countries samaga atkal pada ganimata obata aaradhana vijaya rajatumage sohira sumit etanin aapu aagamanaya vardhanaya tamai me ehenan api samadenama niyunu bohomathu stuti hello hope you are having a wonderful day today on this program we are going to talk about uh, the global twins festival and the miss and mr pageant and we have a lot to discuss on today's program but first to start off we have a beautiful performance by anushita and anusara and i'd like to direct their attention towards you and hope you have a wonderful uh, performance Some legends are told. Sometimes it does get to go, but you will remember me. Remember me for centuries and just wanna stay. Is all it will take to go down in history? Remember me for centuries. Oh, 
it's a pleasant day today and we're having a different sort of a program from China Live. We're here to discuss about the Global Twin Festival and Miss and Mr. Twin Sri Lanka pageant. And um, you just witnessed a beautiful performance by Anushita and uh, Anusara. And uh, now we're going to discuss a bit about uh, what this program is about. And to do so, we have with us uh, Chalika Gajabahu, the chairman of the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau, as well as Shanit Fernando, the official choreographer of the Miss and Mr. Twin Sri Lanka pageant. Hello and welcome to the Hello. program. Thank I'm, you for having me. And uh, well, to start off, uh, I'd like to ask you to give us an introduction about the whole event. Yes, Prashant. This, I would start off with one sentence saying, a platform for Sri Lanka to go to the world. So uh, this event, which is focusing the Global Twin Festival, which is to be held in August in Sri Lanka, is an international platform that is being created for the world to embrace us and the, and the Sri Lankan community as a whole to see what Sri Lanka has to offer mm -hmm. through and with the help of the Sri Lanka Twin Organization and the Twin Organization of the world. So okay. it's a huge celebration of twins, leading to business forums, leading to fashion and culture, to promote Sri Lanka in simple terms. All right. And uh, Mr. Chalaka, how exactly will this help the tourism industry? Oh, it's going to help in a big way. I think it's going to not only help, it's going to contribute to tourism as well for overall from image perspective. And it's such a unique event. Uh, to my knowledge, this is happening for the first time in Sri Lanka. I think it's happening uh, for the first time globally. As a global event, there has not been a twin uh, pageant or a summit like this anywhere else in the world. Again, I think there are going to be about 4,000 participants, uh, the twins and their families. And at the same time, uh, a lot of other investors from, from this group of people. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, aspects and at the same time the, the, the overall media coverage that we are going to get out of it is going to be big as well to portray Sri Lanka in that positive mode and where Sri Lanka is because I think they are going to do some travel as well, uh, show some locations of Sri Lanka, important locations of Sri Lanka. So it's a new, uh, brand new market not only for the twins but then they are going to take this message from the 30-40 countries uh, globally to all over the world. So that's why Tourism Promotion Bureau is very much involved and endorsing this event to take this in a positive way. Right. And Shanith, um, when it comes to choreographing the whole event, how was it? Did you face some of the challenges and how did you overcome them? Well, uh, uh, Prashant, to be very honest, we're starting. We're in the baby steps in terms of the pageant. Like we highlighted this whole global festival that we are focusing to promote our country to the world, here what we're doing, the initial steps of it, is the fact that we are launching Miss and Mr. Twin Sri Lanka 2023 pageant. At the end of the day, as I said, one of the key components of the global festival in August is also to have a beauty pageant for twins around the world. Okay. Mr. Chalaka highlighted very clearly, this is the first time that I as a professional in the fashion industry seeing this in this country as well as in the world. So we're creating a platform for twins to celebrate diversity, to celebrate beauty. We've started already, the registrations are open from today. So twins locally can compete in the age group of 18 to 30 for this beauty pageant and they can take part. All what they've got to do is go through our social media, get on the Twins Sri Lanka page, and then send us the applications for registrations. And then we will take it on from there next month, where by the 19th, we will have the first auditions going on for the pageant. Okay, and Mr. Chalaka, let's speak a bit about uh, the process of promoting this event. Uh, well, the process is going to be, uh, you know, for, first of all, we are going to use all our platforms, the Sri Lanka tourism platforms on social media and our PR agencies as well to promote this uh, pre and post and during the event as well. So the, we are going to meet uh, with the team, uh, I think, next week, discuss logistics, especially with, first with the local event and then the global event, both events we are going to support, not only the global event, especially the local event and then the global event because uh, the local event will also set the platform for the global event as well. So we are going to use all our angles, PR and social media, uh, tourist promotion bureau uh, aspect and at the same time we want to uh, other private sector members from a tourism uh, perspective to get involved as well because you're talking about 4,000 people coming to Sri Lanka from 30 countries so they need that support so I'm trying to that's why I'm going to have meet with them next week and engage them with these uh, partners as well uh, to take this forward. Okay and uh, Shandi when it comes to the age groups of uh, the participants is there a, a 
a limited age or is there a minimal age? How does it happen and uh, how are the challenges when it comes to working with different age groups? Yes, it's an interesting question, Prashant. Now, when we speak about the age group, I specifically mention only for the pageant. Mm. But when we focus this event as a whole, we have twins of all ages coming to Sri Lanka. That is the importance that we need to understand. The beauty pageant, yes, it's only one segment where the age lag gap is going to be from 18 to 30 years. But however, the international event that we're going to have in Sri Lanka in August is going to open up possibilities for all age groups. Because don't forget, we have the business forum coming in. We have the fashion program coming. We have the cultural events coming in. All this is going to bring down a multitude of people like Mr. Chalaka said, we're expecting more than 4,000 participants for this festival. So the age group for different sectors differ. Pageant, yes, 18 to 30, but the cultural, the business aspect of it, the forums, it's open to all age groups. Okay. So participants of all walks of life can come to Sri Lanka. Okay, that's great. And uh, Mr. Chalaka, when it comes to um, an event of this magnitude, do you think uh, this is something which is uh, new or alien to Sri Lanka? How do you think um, the people will react to it? Well, I think it's going to be, again, very positive. I don't think it's alien to Sri Lanka, but the concept is new. That's a unique concept. That's why we love it. Uh, there are a lot of uh, international events that has happened in the country before, uh, whether, it's, whether it's sports or entertainment. We have had international music concerts here from, from global uh, partners. So, but this, this event per se is a very unique event. Uh, I'm not saying it, it, it's alien, but it's alien in a very positive way. Okay. You know, people are going to receive this in a very positive manner and it will be something unique as well. So that's why as a nation we need to embrace this and uh, take it forward. Right, okay. And that winds up the introduction uh, to the program. And up next, uh, we have an inland discussion with some of the twins and uh, the vice presidents of the organization as well. Thank you once again to Mr. Shanit and Mr. Chalika for being part of this discussion. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. We're here to have an in detail discussion about uh, this event. And previously, we spoke to the head and the chairman of the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau as well as the chief. A choreographer for this event and right now we're going to discuss about this organization what it's about and an in detail discussion about the whole event and now we have with us uh, a couple of uh, participants and some of the executive board members of the committee and we're going to discuss an in-depth and in detail review about the whole program and to do so we have with us uh, well first of all I'd like to introduce um, the two performers who uh, you saw before, it's uh, Anushita and Anusara, and also we have Pastor Roshika and Pastor Roshinka Fernando, as well as Dulila and Dulara Senarath, uh, the members of the Executive Committee of the Global Twins Festival, as well as uh, Sara and Moksha Fernando, the participants of Miss and Mr. Twins Sri Lanka. All right, well, let's start off with uh, an introduction about uh, the organization. Yes. First of all, what I want to tell is that uh, the chief aim or the object of Mrs. Upuli Gamage and Chamali Gamage was to help and support the twins to come up in their lives. Because at that time, there were no society or any person who helped them to come up in their lives. There were many twins who had a lot of talents and abilities and there was no way of, uh, for them to show the world their talents and ability. So, in 23rd of August 1993, Mrs. Upuli Gamage and Chamali Gamage began Sri Lanka Twins Organization. Because of their right intention, correct intention, the organization began to grow. And today it has a membership of more than 28,000. And I want to tell that from all 24 districts of Sri Lanka, the members come to the organization. And the other thing, what I want to tell you is that the organization does not charge um, any member fee from any member. Because Mrs. Upulu Gamage and Chamali Gamage think of the people. We know, due to the current situation in Sri Lanka, what Mrs. Upuli says is, there are families who are unable at least to pay 100 rupees as a member fee. 
so she don't charge any member fee. And we want to say that Mrs. Upuli Gamagi and Chamali Gamagi has dedicated their lives to bring up this organization. They were members of the Global Twins Organization and because of their hard work and dedication, the Global Twins Organization has appointed Mrs. Upuli Gamagi and Chamali Gamagi as vice presidents. And proudly I am telling, the members include uh, the twins over six years of age as well as little ones over three years. And there are Sinhalis, Tamils, Burgers and Muslims. And we have members of all religion. Buddhist, Christians, Hindus, as well as Islam. So we all get together and we join hands for the benefit of twins. And Mrs. Upuli Gamagi and Chamele Gamagi, it was their decision and it was they who planned to form the first dancing group, twins dancing group, as well as first Twins Music Group and the first Twins Cricket Team. And they are expecting to conduct the first ever Twins Cricket Tournament next year. So we are so glad to be members in this organization. And actually what I want to tell is this organization always dedicates to bring up twins because there are a lot of twins who have no way of showing their talents or come up in their lives. So Mrs. Upuli Gamagi and Mrs. Chamali Gamagi spend their own money to support and help the twins. So when the twins were asked to come to the organization, I got to know that Mrs. Upuli Gamagi spent her own money to give them their best money. So like that, she's always supporting, helping, encouraging the twins. So as a result of that, many twins are able to show their talents and abilities to the world. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. And we are so happy about it. And what is the reason for the joint venture with the Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau? That is, now we all know that Sri Lanka is in economical upheaval. So to come out of that upheaval, Sri Lanka need dollars. To bring dollars to the country, we need tourists. Tourists should come down to Sri Lanka. For tourists to come down, we need to join hands with the tourist board because it is tourist board who plans and organize programs for tourists to come. For that, we need to join hands with the tourist board. That is what I think. All right. Well, thank you for that introduction about uh, the organization. Now that we have an introduction about uh, the event and about the organization, we're going to have an insightful discussion about the exact details of the program and the process of how everything is going to play out. So. Let's first speak uh, in brief about uh, an introduction to how each and every uh, component of the event is going to play out. Actually, first I should tell that as the pastors mentioned, the founders of our organization, Upu Mrs. Upuli Gamage and Mrs. Chamali Gamage, as an appreciation for their service, which has been done for twins as well as for non-twins, they have been elected as the vice presidents of the Global Twins Multiples and Birth Forum and also they are not thinking about only themselves or about only the twins mm -hmm. and when they think about the country itself they have put up an, a proposal for the twins to benefit the twins as well as to all the country and this whole exercise is the result of that proposal which is made to the global twins and multiples birth forum mm -hmm. and all the participating countries have given their consent to participate in this program and they have highly appreciated this venture which is being done in Sri Lanka. Right. And uh, when it comes to the Twins pageant and uh, the cultural event, 
how is uh, how is everything going to play out? First of all, I would like to start off by saying that um, we've all witnessed uh, pageants happening across the globe, for example, Miss World and Mr. World, right? But we've never witnessed a global twins pageant. So this whole idea and concept and the ownership goes to our founders of the Sri Lanka Twins Organization, Ms. Upuli Gamage and Mrs. Chamali Gamage. So, and because of that, uh, a great pride is being earned by Sri Lanka as well for hosting something for the first time in, they've never seen before, right? So, uh, around 30 to 50 countries will be participating in this. There are three sets of twins from each gender, male and female, will be participating. And uh, in order to choose these three, there's going to be a local uh, pageant that's going to be held in each country with their own rules and regulations. So, as for as for Sri Lanka, we too have a local pageant which is go, which goes under the name Miss and Mr. Miss and Mr. Twin Sri Lanka 2023. So. It, it is hoped to happen uh, in uh, May, May 28th. Uh, the grand finale is hoped to happen in, on May 28th um, at the Sugadasa Indoor Stadium, which consists of four preliminary rounds. Okay, so basically each country will have their own version of this, yes. and they'll be sending uh, the three winners to Sri Lanka, and after yes. that you'll be having the yes. final round. Here. Yes. All right, speak a bit about the cultural event. Yeah, so for this event also there will be around uh, 30 countries participating and they'll bring their own uh, preparations about their own cultures and Sri Lanka will also be taking part with our various cultures. So the main theme about this is uh, like despite of our uh, differences, it may be race, it may be color, that in the end that we are all human that breathe the same air. And also and on the final day of this week, we also have prepared uh, a musical show uh, where, all, where the, true, the singing troupe and the dancing troupe of uh, the association be taking part. And uh, we, I would like to say that uh, Ms. Chamali, our co-founder, is, uh, is in charge of the, the dancing troupe for she is a professional dancer. And we also uh, make preparations, have made preparations to bring down uh, a celebrity to make this event uh, more colorful. Right, and do you have uh, any understanding about who the celebrity is, or is it a uh, surprise? It's probably going to be like a Bollywood celebrity, okay. but yeah, we, we don't know yet. Okay, great. And when it comes to the event, um, the nitty gritty from A to Z, tell me about uh, how exactly th the process is going to play out. Now, this event will not only be merely for the fun and enjoyment of the participants who arrive in Sri Lanka, okay. but also we are going to take some more steps to eradicate the poverty between the twins as well as the non-twins and also to gain the sustainability of the of the whole population of Sri Lanka okay. and for that we will be conducting the global twins forum mm. which will be happening in Sri Lanka together with the delegation of about 50 countries the world leaders will be participating in that mm. and a proposal for the to eradicate the poverty of the twins as well as the non-twins of the world population and also to make this world a greenish world that means to increase the forest coverage of the world of the world by the participating countries yeah. together with the theme we have a theme for this better nature for tomorrow and let's tackle the climate change together this will be the theme and for that, we will be striving hard to make the proposal and to get that approved during that forum. Okay, so that's a theme and a sort of the positive message that you're encouraging from this whole event. Yes. Right, and when it comes to the segments of the event, do you have any particular areas of how it's going to go, how the event is going to play out? Actually, we are going to have a Global Twins Business Forum also together with all the aforementioned uh, events. So this business forum will be uh, one of its kind and many twin part participants will be bringing their investments to Sri Lanka, which is a current need that as Sri Lankans, we need many more investments from different countries to Sri Lanka. And also this will encourage small and medium scale enterprises to join hands with us to showcase their uh, services and products to the foreign nations uh, as information, about 50 countries will be participating and so they could show their services and products to them and they will also get encouraged by that. 
due to the current situation, normally the small and medium scale enterprises, they cannot go to different countries and showcase their products and services because of the high airfare and all the things. So th this will be a great platform for everyone to showcase their uh, products and services. And also many investments will be coming to our country now. Now also our higher management is in the discussion uh, together with many uh, investors and together with many other countries to bring down investments to Sri Lanka. Also they will discuss about how to take Sri Lanka to the top of the world, how to showcase, uh, showcase our products in different types such as gems, spices and mainly the Ayurvedic medicine we will be mostly promoting uh, some areas like that. And also I would like to extend our hands as the Sri Lanka Twins organization. If there is anyone who would like to join in within Sri Lanka and also the citizens of Sri Lanka who are living abroad, they can join hands with us. Uh, uh, they can contact our managing director, Mr. Mahindra Hetty Arachi. Hetty Arachi through WhatsApp. Uh, shall I give the number? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, zero seven zero four six four four six four zero. I'll repeat zero seven zero four six four four six four zero. And also, I would like to mention about sponsorships. Also, uh, as the Sri Lanka Twins organization, we are not getting any membership fees or anything from our members because if we get a membership, they will be discouraged, and their talents and their capabilities could not be brought in front. So. Now, if we ask for a membership, they, if they cannot pay the membership, they will be discouraged. So to carry on this concept, we need sponsors. And we would like to also invite sponsors to join hands with us. Also, they can uh, contact our managing director by the aforementioned, uh, aforementioned number through WhatsApp. And also, the participants of the Mr. and Miss uh, Sri Lanka Twins pageant they also can send in one of their recent photographs to our managing director, mentioning all their details, and then they also can get a chance of participating with us to this great event, which will be one of its kind held in the world. Okay, now being part of uh, the executive committee, I'm sure you have a task at organizing and uh, maybe some of the important roles of this event. What are some of the challenges you face and what did you do to overcome them? The main challenge is with the sponsorships that we have. Now it says we are, con we are, in, the, uh, we are in the process of considering about uh, two to three sponsorships that we have. Mm. And we hope that many sponsors will join hands with us. And also we, are, we would like to invite the Sri Lankans who are living abroad to come to Sri Lanka and during those days to ha join hands with us to take this message to the world, the YouTubers, social media influencers who are living in our country as well as who are living abroad. We would like to invite them to take this message to the whole world mm. and to make the participant count increase and to take the message of the faith and love to the whole world through this great event. Right. And uh, when it comes to implementing such a uh, project in Sri Lanka, we spoke previously about this uh, with the official choreographer as well when it comes to some of the choreography challenges in Sri Lanka. As one of uh, the twins and as someone participating in this event, maybe some personal uh, challenge that you faced and the challenges which many Sri Lankans face, what do you think when it comes to the normal folk participating in this event? Some of the challenges they might be facing. Actually, now the other participants, they are from different areas of Sri Lanka. Right. Some, they, are, they have money to come and participate yeah. in these events and to pay for these events. But some, they doesn't have the ability for that. Right. And we, as the Sri Lanka Twins organization, are going to treat them, all of them equally. Uh, if they like, they can contribute to us. Mm. And if they, if they need some help in the if they need some help in the preparation and all those stuff, Sri Lanka Twins organization is ready to give the hand to them to uplift their talents. And now Sri Lanka Twins organization, to be a member of the Sri Lanka Twins organization, 
our co-founders, Mrs. Supuli Gamage and Mrs. Chamali Gamage, mm. is considering only about the talents they have, okay. not about the money or the class the, which they were born to. They are not considering any of them, as the pastors mentioned. We have from the newborns, from the newborns to the seniors of Sri Lanka, we have twins which are, who are members in our organization. And we are considering only about the talents in them. Right. And we have, we have Mrs. Upu, Mrs. Chamali Gamage, the co-founder of our organization, is the choreographer for the cultural event as mentioned. Okay. And she is giving her utmost effort as the dancing choreographer. And I have to mention that only in Sri Lanka we have the Queen's dancing troops, singing troops, and especially the sport teams, art, art guild, and such of those to uplift the talents of the children and the pa participants. Only Sri Lanka have done those sort of work. Mm. But other countries, other countries do have organizations which are dedicated for twins. They come, they gather to one place, and they have fun and enjoyment, and then they go away. Mm. But our Sri Lanka Twins organization is there merely to give the helping hand for all the twins, and that's why we are participating in these types of events also, right. to give a helping hand, to uplift their talents, and to give a helping hand to have a great life here in Sri Lanka itself. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share the details about the organization as well as how this whole event is going to be played out. And we look forward to seeing how the finale will play out in the coming months. Thank you for being a part of this program. Till next time, have a nice day.